let's talk about loops. Loops are a command programmers use to repeat a part of their code until a task is complete. Loops are important because they help your code stay bug-free, keep your code short, and save you programming time. Loops are useful in everyday life, too. Anytime you repeat the same task multiple times, like practicing your basketball shot or jumping on a trampoline, you are looping an action. They're especially helpful for a computer. Remember, a computer can't do anything unless instructed to by a human. Loops are one of the tools that a programmer can use to more easily give instructions to a computer. Here's your mission. Create a fun fitness program for the Fuzz family using loops in your instructions. So you might be wondering, what do loops have to do with a workout routine? Think about everything you need to do to use a jump rope. You swing the rope up, you swing the rope down, and you jump. Repeat the same task over and over and over again. That's jumping rope. As a human, you wouldn't have to think about every single step separately. But what if you wanted to explain how to use a jump rope to your fuzz friend, who has never even heard or tried it before? Instead of saying, jump rope 10 times, you would have to break down the instructions for every single step. Swing up, swing down, jump. Swing up, swing down, jump. Over and over and over again. Instead, you can use a loop in your code to turn this into this. The result is the same. Your fuzz will jump rope 10 times. But the loop helps to make your code shorter and saves you the time it would take to write out all those repeating commands. Today, your coding mission is to create a fun fitness program. Include at least three exercises in your routine and decide how many times each of the moves should be looped. Let's take a look at an example from our Fuzz family. They've shared with you their Fuzzy Flex program and we're all going to try it out together. Just do your best. It's okay if you need to practice the moves a few times. The first move is jumping jacks. One jumping jack looks like this. Our program says to loop this action 10 times. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome job. The next move is push-ups. One push-up looks like this. Let's loop this action five times. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. The final move is the side stretch. One looks like this. We will loop this action 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. You completed the Fuzzy Flex program. This program was easy to follow, but think about how long and difficult the Fuzzy Flex program would have been to write and to follow if we couldn't use loops. For example, the instructions for 10 jumping jacks would look like this. Now it's your turn. Let's go. Create a fuzzy flex program of your own with at least three different exercise moves. Use a loop to specify the number of times each exercise should be repeated. Write out your program and share it with a friend or a family member to test out. Make changes to your loops as needed. If the moves are too easy, try increasing the number of times it should be repeated. Too hard? Take the number of loops down. It's up to you. Good luck. If you liked this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Happy coding!